Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Keen Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. And today, we're just going to cover when someone's reaching for your cane and they get a hold of your wrist that you're holding your cane with, or the arm itself. It may not be the wrist, it may be the forearm. And helping me is one of my students, Mr. Bob. Okay. One of the simplest things to do in the world, you're sitting here and someone reaches for your cane, it's just simply move. From here I can strike, if they're in close, I can hit. So if he's reaching for my cane arm, I move it, I can strike. If they're further away, I can swing it. But let's go ahead and say they get a hold of your arm. Now he's got a hold, let's say it's the same side grab. He's got a hold of my arm. Let's say they're a pretty good sized person. Bob's pretty strong and let's say I'm having a hard time. There's a lot of wasted energy trying to do this. Well, I can just simply flick my wrist and now I have it right here. Now, granted, he is open on that side, so I may fake go into his head when I'm really gonna hit him in the knee or fake the knee and hit him in the head. Again, he grabs a hold. From here, one of the techniques, just simply, I don't wanna bend down because he can smack me in the face. I just simply bend my wrist. I have my cane here. Now, we all know basic self-defense, the thumb is weak we can pull out. Okay, grab again. So from here, I can bend my wrist, pull out, and I can strike. <clears throat> if he cross grabs me, same thing. I bend, I have my cane, I let go. He can still hold on to this hand. I have it right here, and I can smack him in the back of the head. One more time, he grabs, cross grab. Now that hand may go up to want to punch me, so I'm gonna step out, grab, and then swing. Another technique to do when he's grabbing, he hasn't grabbed my cane yet, he's still grabbing the arm that's holding my cane. He grabs the same side grab, another technique, no I'm sorry, grab my arm this time. We're, go, we're gonna do when he grabs the cane in a few minutes, we're still doing by the arm. From here I can flip it up, grab this side, and pull really hard as I hyperextend and pop it. He grabs me again, like this. From here, as I do that, I'm gonna pull. When you're practicing this with somebody, go slow because you're gonna have them locked in for a minute and you're gonna pop their wrist. Gonna... So from here, as I pull, and I can cause injury. Now, if he cross grabs, still grabbing my wrist, I can bring this up. Now remember, if they're really strong or I'm a lot older or I'm injured and I can't lift my arm, I go back to this. But if I can lift my arm a bit, <clears throat> the cane is not just a long range weapon. I'll use it almost like a, um, a dumbbong in Hapkido or a Kopitar. I'll bring it up, I'll put that wood right on the bone area and push down. I can use two hands, push down. Grabs me again from here, I can bring it up. I'm not gonna hook, I can hook him here and do all that. But the problem is I'm bending him toward me. I like going to the back side. So when he's got a hold of me on this side, it comes up. I'm gonna put the wood on the bone, just like that. And then from there, I can smack him or hit him. Now, <clears throat> if he grabs the cane itself, he's um, still with the same side hand. He grabs right here. From here, one of the things I can do simply is kick it up and hold on to it. So now that I have two hands and stabilizing it, I can kick him in the knee, obviously. I don't have to always rely just on the cane. He's got a hand there, bam. But he's got it here and I wanna keep it. Instead of trying to reach down for it, I'll kick it upward and snatch it from here. Now it's in my hand. From here, turn and I can smack. I'll go slow with that. He's got the cane, kick it up, grab it, Turn. Notice how I want to get to his back side from here. He's got a grip. That's fine. Then pull it out. Smack him. One more time, Mr. Bob. Kick it up. It's here. Bring it around. Don't move, sir, because I'm going to go forward. I can go forward and smack. He cross grabs. Grabs the key. Same thing. Now that time he went ahead and yanked it toward him. So from that, as he's pulling it, I'll step in 
and grab it. So when he grabs it, he starts to pull it. I'll, now, I could also just simply punch him in the face, obviously. But if I want to hang on to my cane, as he starts to pull it, right now it's moving, I snatch it. Bring it around, boom. And I do, we do it on this side. Bob over here, sir. He grabs my cane. He pulls it toward him. I step to it. A lot of people want to always pull back in a fight. I like to kind of go in. So I come forward, grabbing my cane, turning it. And then from here, I can smack him, hit him, step back, and catch him. Back on this side. So when he grabs your cane, if he does again, same side grab from here. Even if he pulls it upward, I can still grab my cane and bring it around. Use it like a leverage pry bar. If he grabs with the other side, same thing. If he pulls it, I step in, I grab it. Now I'm here. Use it like a leverage pry bar. And remember what I said, if, he, if he's just holding on to it, same side, I can kick it up. Pull it around and I can go in. <clears throat> Last one for this technique, and there's a lot of other different techniques as well. He happens, well, I'm sorry, I got two more. One of them, he grabs the cane as I'm trying to thrust. If he single hands it, I can rope it around and strike. He double hands it. Now, one of the best things about when somebody grabs something with a double hand, his two hands are occupied, I'll just go with a straight punch. But from here, I can, even though I can do leverage and he's fighting, I can step in and hit. Now, as he's holding the, my cane, I don't want to go on a tug of war. He might be stronger. If I'm pulling and he's pulling, we're at the tug of war. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and go toward him. As I do that, I step. The cane comes up, and I'm going to catch him in the head or neck. Straight like that, and then smack him. One more time. He's got to hold the cane. Simply step, bring it up and around. We're going to turn on this side so you can see where I'm going to strike with this. We're here. He's got the cane. And again, I can kick. I can punch. Don't think you can't use your other skills. <clears throat> the cane is not, oh, I have to use my cane. No, use other ones. <clears throat> but if I am going to use my cane for some reason and I'm here, well, I'm going to step in and strike him. Right? Collarbone, neck, or head. And smack him hard. <clears throat> Last one. He gets a hold of the center. Both hands. We're here. I don't want to go into a wrestling match. I turn. Now we're back to back. I'm going to lean forward and break away. Step out and strike him in the kidney area. <clears throat> Understand about this technique. Let's show you this one again. Again, now he's got two hands on it. So I can kick. I can punch. I can roll it. I can do all kinds of different things. Well, a really good technique when they're pretty strong is leverage. Everybody wants power, but sometimes leverage will work better. I spin with him. Now, at this point, he can do the same thing. If I'm not going to do this, he can do the same thing. But I'm going to lean forward, break it away, a quick strike, and then whatever I need to do. <clears throat> so those are just some of the techniques that you can do. Work the techniques when they're grabbing your wrist. Work the techniques when you're grabbing your cane. Because realistically, <clears throat> if someone's going to assault you and you have a cane, they're going to A, go, if they don't come up and hit you from behind. And there's not a lot you can do when you're struck from behind, blind. You just got to hopefully, you can fight your way through it and continue to defend yourself. If not, you got problems. But most of the times, if they're in front of you, they're going to either A, grab for your hand that has whatever weapon you have, or B, grab for your cane or whatever weapon you have. So when they get a hold of those, those are some of the techniques you can do to go ahead and break free. So hopefully that helps. Practice those. Be safe. 
There's a couple of other good techniques out there that will do just very similar stuff, if not the same. So if you have any questions, please, free, please feel free to uh, ask me, and I'll be glad to answer the best of my knowledge. And Master Gary Hernandez, and thank you. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do. I try to put out a video every week. Um, down the road, I'll try to put out a little bit more, but every week I try to put out a video. Um, this is dedicated strictly for Kane. If this is something you like, great. If it's something that you're not a big fan of, well, well thank you for watching anyway. And hopefully this will help somebody. Thank you.